A lot to get to this morning, starting with breaking news. A Michigan man has been arrested here in Houston, accused in the murder of a family dollar security guard in a fight about wearing a mask. Officials say the suspect was driven here by accomplices and arrested at a hotel on the west side, 1300 miles away from the scene of the crime. A stepfather and son are charged with murder. The stepfather is the man on the left, 44 year old Larry Teague. He was arrested in West Houston on Thursday while returning to his room. 23 year old Mania Bishop Teague's stepson was arrested in Michigan as well. Here's what we know so far. Authorities say last Friday there was an argument at a family dollar store in Flint, Michigan. A security guard told a customer to wear a mask. It was a woman and her two daughters. That woman then called her husband Teague and her son Bishop. Prosecutors say Bishop then shot and killed the security guard. Teague and Bishop's mother are also charged with murder. Teague was captured near a motel in which he had registered under his own name in Houston. That woman has also been charged with murder. We're assuming that that woman means his girlfriend, his wife. We know two other people were arrested for their role in getting Teague here to Houston and helping him at the hotel. Also breaking this morning in Southwest Houston, a man went into a gas station asking for help after he was shot while filling up at the gas pump. This happened about 11 last night at the Shell in South Main near Burdeen. The video shows the gunshot flashing near pump number three. You then see the victim run into the gas station where Good Samaritans tried to help stop the bleeding. So far, no arrests have been made. This morning, loved ones and officers will gather to say their final goodbyes to HPD tactical flight officer Jason Knox. Last night, those officers saluted as Knox's casket arrived at First Baptist Church for a visitation. Knox died after a police helicopter crashed last weekend. HPD Chief Art Acevedo says today's funeral service will honor an officer who truly loved representing the Houston Police Department. When you look on social media, all you see is pictures of him and this with the smile and frequently with children with the community just being an ambassador well the knox funeral is reserved for family friends and first responders abc 13 will carry that service online at abc13.com starting at 10 45 this morning we'll air it live on tv starting at 11. Happening today, a barbecue fundraiser will be held for Officer Comier and the family of Officer Jason Knox. This will be happening at Time Out Tavern in Humble. That starts at noon. Chopped beef baked potatoes will be 10 bucks. Pulled pork sandwiches are $7. You can also donate at assisttheofficer.com. Well, as we now know, first responders were shot at as they were trying to free Officer Knox and the pilot from that helicopter wreckage last Saturday. ABC 13 reporter Jessica Willie brings us the details on that shooting. It was a terrible scene that only got worse. Shot fired, shot fired. As first responders were frantically working to rescue tactical flight officer Jason Knox and pilot Chase Cormier from the downed HPD helicopter last weekend, a new threat. We've got a uh, security guard that says people are, are actually shooting at the helicopters that are responding out here. Responding helicopters from HPD and DPS. The SO units switch to Shepard. All units that are on the downed aircraft switch to Shepard. They're shooting at the officers came under fire. That's unacceptable. Prosecutor Sean Tier upgraded charges for Josue Claros Trajedo. Originally charged with tampering, the 19 year old was caught in the act, says Tier. A surveillance video showing him firing at the at the helicopters. Yes, investigators believe he fired at least five shots from two different locations. The teen is now charged with aggravated assault on both police officers inside HPD's responding helicopter. Tier explains why the HPD helicopter was lower and had the searchlight on providing the light to our first responders. They were pulling them out. Tier says police recovered the handgun they believe Clara Terjedo used. Court records say he hid firearms in an air vent in his apartment. He's been in jail since soon after the crash. Hey, county advised that uh, one of their guys has one of their shooters in custody. Now his bond is $100,000. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. To COVID-19 coverage now, Southeast Texas has hit two more grim milestones related to the pandemic. There are now more than 12,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Houston region. We've also seen more than 300 deaths in our area. Some 
Good news, though, 4,300 people have recovered from the coronavirus. Happening today, Beyonce's Be Good Foundation and United Memorial Medical Center will be providing free coronavirus testing. That's happening at Forest Brook Middle School on Tidwell from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. They will also be giving out face masks, gloves, and essential vitamins along with household supplies. All right, good morning and starting off a beautiful weekend. Already an awesome sunrise, drier, cooler air overspreading much of the region now after cool front number two came through. Get ready for a very active pattern next week. But first, a gorgeous three days counting on today, tomorrow and then Monday. Lower 60s to start your Saturday and your weekend off well and then mid 70s today. Upper 70s by tomorrow and just a fantastic couple of days in store for you here and uh, really looking pretty good. Little wind out there, but that should die down by the afternoon and evening hours. There's wind cast again by the early afternoon. It dies down 74, 79, 82 respectively. And then look at this unsettled pattern building in with more rain chances, including late in the week. We'll see chances up to about 60% next Sunday. We'll have to watch for the possibility of heavy rain. But for now, enjoy the sunshine for your Mother's Day weekend tomorrow. Tomorrow, 79, even better.